Hello everybody and welcome to Titanfall Weekly. I am Lorenzo Valoria and I'm here with Hollander Cooper. And uh, Coop, you've played the game uh, a little bit. A little bit for about, I'd say almost like 20 hours. The final version of the game, not just the beta. Right, so we have the, uh, a whole overview of everything about the game and we want to talk about the modes today. Yeah, so. the modes and then we'll jump into the maps. Uh, but the, yeah, the modes. So the first big mode everyone knows about is Attrition. Uh, right. It's the one, one of the ones that was in the beta. It's basically team deathmatch, but killing a minion gives you a point also, just like any kill would. Uh, killing a pilot gives you four points, and killing a titan gives you five points. So what's th what's the thing that players should be focusing on here? Should it be titan yeah, kills, yeah, so uh, pilot kills, what? It depends on how confident you are. If you're super skillful and you really feel like you could start rodeoing titans and blowing things up, go for it, man. But if you kind of need some time training, slap a silencer on your gun, turn on the minion detector kit, and just go minion hunting because you could still be really useful for your team. Think of it this way. If you're hiding in buildings, killing like five minions a minute, that's one minute that you're not dying and losing points for your team, and you're always gaining points. Uh, and there's also a mode where you don't get points for all of that stuff. There's the other mode, Pilot Hunter, uh -huh. which you only get one point for killing a pilot, no additional points for minion kills or titan kills. So specific targeting here. So uh, I think the uh, the pistol, the uh, the auto, auto target pistol, pistol auto, the, the, the smart gun, the, the smart, smart gun, pistol. It, smart pistol's not as useful here. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, another mode you're gonna look at is capture the flag. Uh -huh. um, pretty basic capture the flag mode. There's no there's no interesting secondary elements to it, but the fact that you can use a titan, like you can be in your titan with the flag makes a big difference. I can see uh, teamwork working all, uh, pretty well with this. If you uh, don't have a titan yet, you jump on your buddy's titan oh, and yeah. have them drag you all the way yeah, to the other side. Especially if you have the strider titan, which has the core ability. It's the dash core, which when it's all the way up, you can do infinite dashes for, oh, wow. for a little bit of time. So you can do that. Or my favorite thing is drop a titan as you're running into the building with the flag. So when you're on your way out, it's hitting the ground, your shield's up, you can jump in it and get going. Sweet. So uh, what else do we have? We, uh, the other mode that showed up in the beta was the hard, hard point. point. Yeah, hard point domination. Uh, it's your basic capture point. It's not like Battlefield's rush mode or anything. It's more just like there are three spots. You got to hold them. Um, it does, my suggestion, though, is be sure you defend points. You get a ton of points for just sitting in like a corner shooting people that come through the door to take your point. You'll constantly get defense points. And I know it's tempting to start go go start running, but then you're going to have to be playing this game where you're always capturing a point while losing another one. But if I mean there's six players, if one person's in each and then you have three trying to take things over, you're going to end up doing better than the other team, especially if the other team's running around like idiots. Yeah, and then Titanfall makes it a little bit easier too cuz you could drop your Titan down there too, so you're not just defending the point all by yourself. Exactly. You got a you got a uh, an iron giant friend with you. Okay, and then the other uh, mode that they showed in the beta, which is a little bit outside of the box, was Last Titan Standing. So a little what, what, bit outside of the box. It yeah. kind of reminds me of just playing like an old game at Counter-Strike, where like you die and you're dead. The only benefit is, like imagine if you were playing Counter-Strike and right before you get opt, you could like, your brain could shoot out of your body and <laughs> run around. It's basically what it's like. Uh, my suggestion though for that one, after playing a lot of it, is go for the kill. Like, mm -hmm. if you see that doomed titan, go in and shove your fist into the middle of that titan and rip a guy out and smash him. Right. Uh, I went on a killing spree at one point and killed every member of the other team using that tactic. Awesome. And I felt like a freaking superstar. All right, so uh, those are the ones I know about. What What's new? What have you seen that's uh, that we haven't seen so far? Uh, all of the maps. And we should talk about all of the maps, because I know people want to hear about all of the maps. Uh, all right, let's go. The first big one is airbase. Uh, it's an outdoor map with some indoor areas, but the biggest thing you want to do is you got to find your parkour routes. That's a lot of key to victory in a lot of these. Not all of them, but trying to find cool routes to find secret places to hide. And there's also some auto turrets, and those are basically turrets that you can hack into with your super fancy smart knife, which I'm guessing is sort of like a USB drive of uh -huh. the future. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can take over a turret, and those areas end up being great areas if you want to camp out because people are going to try to come take them over from you, so you can kind of hide around there and try to take them back in this base. So kind of a strong uh, hard point M map you yeah, kind of wanted to go in. pretty much. Yeah. Obviously, everybody knows Angel City who played in the beta. Um, yeah, we do. Played it a lot more during uh, when I, during my review time with the game, and the rooftops are clutch. you mm. got to stay on those rooftops. It's, it's super important. if you Whoever controls the rooftops controls the world, Lorenzo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I found that uh, going inside the buildings is also useful as well. It gets you out of the Titan lines of fire, and you could do a lot of pilot-on-pilot -pilot combat. Oh, yeah. Boneyard, uh, at first I was super excited for because there's giant monsters flying around and uh -huh. those big fleshy AT-ATs walking in the distance, uh -huh. but 
The monsters don't actually have a huge impact. You can shoot them, you might be able to kill them. I don't think they ever attack you. They haven't in any of my matches, but it's a really cool map anyway. Um, there's lots of sniper areas around because it's big and open, but a lot of the combat's going to take place right in the center research lab and the bunker. So if you learn those areas well, especially if you learn them before everyone else does, you're going to have a head. To, you're going to have a leg up on them. And then there was the colony uh, maps. How was that? It's basically Angel City. Okay. Um, you're still going to want to go after the rooftops. You're going to want to use them and learn them for parkour. Uh, but it's the same kind of thing. And a lot of the city maps, not all of them, but a lot of the city maps, the team that controls the rooftops is going to win, at least in the first half, until the Titans start going crazy. And then right. even then, when the Titans start falling, being able to control the rooftops, because it's it's hard. Titans can't get up there, so you're able to kind of use your anti-Titan weapons really easily. Yeah, and then you could rodeo if you're a pilot on top of the roof, so you could jump on the enemy Titans and get a, get a hold of those guys pretty easily. Right? Yeah, and that's definitely important in Colony, because there's a lot of buildings to scale. All right, Koopa, what about the corporate map? That one looks I'm like a, a big giant fan of corporate. Yeah, it looks like a giant building just in the middle of nowhere. Pretty much, yeah. It almost feels like if you've played a lot of Battlefield, the maps were like you end up having these like huge battles over a big building. Uh -huh. It feels like that, except the, bat the battle is just around the building. There's a few other little buildings, but my favorite thing is corporate is a huge open building, so... Obviously, you're fighting outside of it, but it's big enough that Titans fit inside of it. Mm -hmm. So you're having, like, indoor combat with Titans, which you do in some of the other maps. But this one has a cool, futuristic vibe. It doesn't feel like a lot of the other maps, which and it, it, I definitely... I definitely was happy with this one showing up a lot, especially in uh, Last Titan Stand. Yeah, how about the uh, the parkour? How does that work with the pilots? Um, it, it works well. It's less important than it is in some of the city maps because of the... Uh, the more the bigger inside areas, but you're still able to find some cool areas to jump, and there are rooftops obviously to to jump around on if you want to start doing some rodeo action. There's also Demeter, uh, which is a big outdoor map, kind of a desert thing. Some cool skybox explosions going on. Uh, most of the combat's going to happen right in the middle of the map, and there are some big pipes around it. Uh -huh. So if you learn kind of how to get some good positioning on the pipes. I found it being really useful, and if not, like all other big outdoor maps, you can always just snipe. And then we're to uh, Fracture, which was uh, a map that was also in the beta. Uh, this one is uh, fairly uh, outdoor focused. There, there's some buildings around there, but I found that it was mostly a Titan map. Was that the same when you were in the final? Yeah. Uh, the only thing is, you start to learn because there are some underground passages to get to between the buildings, and you start to learn those better the more you play it. Mm -hmm. Which means that shotguns and close range weapons do become more important. Uh, this is mu definitely much less parkour focused than a lot of the other maps because it's there's almost too much area between anything to jump on, right. but within the buildings themselves, there's actually some cool uh, traversal options of climbing up walls and stuff that let you take advantage of it. But yeah, this is definitely a map that changes completely when the titans start to fall. Awesome. And then uh, Lagoon. This Lagoon. one looks like it has uh, some water. Can you drown in that water? I, I didn't try, uh -huh. but I don't think so. It wasn't that deep. But Lagoon looks super cool. I wish there were more maps like Lagoon. Uh, it's like a tropical area. There's a big base that's in uh, in the water, kind of. And then there's a like a forest between. There's some zip lines you can learn on the way. It's a very uh, asymmetrical map, but I definitely liked it a lot. And learning how to use the zip lines was especially cool. It's really neat when you take a zip line over an enemy Titan and drop onto it. Awesome. Those are things that aren't available in every level with zip lines, but in this one I found myself doing it a lot. Uh, and it's it's also it's also just a more vertical map, even when compared to a lot of the other ones, because there are some cool mountains. Nexus is cool also. Um, it has a giant zip line tower in the middle with different areas all around the map that let you zip line there, which is really cool because it means you can pretty much get anywhere almost immediately. Um, and the zip lines are super cool to use uh, for the same reason that they are in all the other maps because it's just another thing that lets you travel in a way that you usually can't travel in a first-person shooter. And then we have uh, Outpost 207, which looks like another night map, but uh, this one's a little more confined, Yeah, right? it might be the smallest map in the game, which actually, at first, I thought would be kind of a bummer, but you still end up having six titans or more, like 12 titans running around. Uh -huh. And when you have a lot of titans running around close range, it totally changes the game. It barely feels like a shooter at that point because it's just a matter of like, it feels almost like when you're playing like Ocarina of Time of just like, oh my god, a bunch of people shot a spell at me. I'm going to catch it and send it back and then somebody else steps in front of it. It's like the last battle in that game. Then everybody just starts punching each other in the face. Yeah, yeah. It, ends up, it ends up ending like every Rocky movie pretty much. Overlook's also cool. It's another map with a lot of zip lines. They go around the perimeter though, so you can kind of get and f get use them to flank an enemy. Um, and it also has a lot of buildings and small areas to go through, so if you're a fan of the shotgun and you see Overlook load up, you're in for a good time. 
And then there, uh, there's Relic, so what's Relic all about? Relic is actually, I think, referring to the Odyssey, which is a giant crashed ship in the area. And because it's a crashed ship, there's a lot of cool geometry to learn and jump around. Uh, don't think that because it's a crashed ship, you're going to end up in tight corridors. There's a lot of cool paths you can find, and wall running is more important in this map than it is in a lot of the other non-city-based maps. So all the, the maps have a lot of verticality to them. Is uh, Rise, the map Rise, is, is that uh, any, any more than the others? <laughs> uh, a little bit. There's, there is definitely a lot of verticality to it. There's a big sky bridge that you can, uh, or a skywalk kind of thing you can learn to use. Um, and it also makes for really interesting Titan battles because there are several levels to fight on. You're not always face to face with another Titan. They may be a, like a level above you. And it's kind of funny when you call down a Titan and you're expecting it to land in front of you. And then you remember you're like, four levels below and you're like oh god I gotta climb all that but it ends up leading to some really unique gameplay all right so uh, smugglers cove looks like another uh, level with water in it but uh, still, can't, it still no sharks as far as I can tell all right so uh, w what's this one uh, all about is uh, there just, a lot of wall running still? yeah there's a looks lot of open. wall running that despite it being like having half the map look like an ocean there's a lot of areas to wall run a lot of city areas it's a lot of the city areas to me all feel like different versions of angel city but mm -hmm. not so with Smuggler's Cove. It definitely has its own kind of feel. It might just be the aesthetics, but also just in terms of the way the level is situated. It doesn't feel like a big, sprawling city. It feels sort of like a shanty town, almost like a Smuggler's Cove, if you will. <laughs> Interesting. All right, and then there's Training Ground, which is the most symmetrical map, as far as I can tell. It's pretty much just a big square with a building in the middle of it, and on either side, there's two turrets. It almost feels like, a, like an old-school, like, super hardcore gameplay map where it's like we want it to be perfectly symmetrical so there's no benefits on either side and that, I mean obviously you're going to have some people that treat it like the final destination of Titanfall and other people that are going to get bored of it and want to just keep playing whatever maps were in the beta because that's kind of how people usually react in these kind of things all right, so that's been our quick overview of the maps and modes in Titanfall. Uh, be sure to check back. We're going to have plenty of other videos available uh, in terms of strategy and all kinds of stuff that comes out with Titanfall. So be sure to uh, like and subscribe. Press all those nice uh, buttons down there below the video. Every one of them. And uh, leave us a comment as well uh, what you guys want to see. And uh, we'll see you next time. While he's cleaning the blood off of this beautiful looking titan, I should probably tell you how to watch other Games Radar videos on YouTube. Right up here you're going to watch last week's episode of Titanfall Weekly, and down here you can click and watch another show, Super Smash Bros. Wii U Weekly, that I'm actually on with Henry Gilbert. You can also like and su- Is that a piece of brain? You can like and subscribe and all that stuff down there. Um, you should probably just hire somebody to clean that thing, it's really gross.